Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share five do's and don'ts in an interview of VLSI companies like Intel, Qualcomm, NXP, and ST Microelectronics. First one is, if the interviewer asks to rate yourself for the subject that you have mentioned in resume out of ten, don't answer that uh, I rate myself nine or ten. Even the experts can't. Rate uh, themselves like that, like nine or ten. Tell that um, I can rate myself five or six. Um, you can tell that uh, I am trying to learn more. I am trying to add more knowledge. This is my experience in an uh, ST Microelectronics interview, in which the interviewer asked, "How much do you rate yourself in Verilog?" My answer was, "I rate myself." Nine or ten, the interviewers started laughing. I did not know why they were laughing, but uh, later I came to know that uh, you should not rate yourself nine or ten. Even the ex experts can't rate like that. The next one is uh, don't tell about your family. When they ask, tell about yourself. This is my personal experience. In ST Micro Electron interview uh, itself, uh, when I told my about uh, when I told about my parents, they said that it's technical interview, not a personal interview. So don't uh, don't uh, need not tell about your family. Anyhow, you can say this in HR interview. The next one is do not record the telephonic interviews. This is also my personal experience. Uh, uh, of interview at Intel, uh, I tried to record the uh, telephonic interview so that I can analyze the uh, my answers later after the interview. I thought that, but in, uh, the interviewer somehow uh, came to know that I am recording. He said, "Stop recording." Um, it somehow ne gives negative impression to the interviewer, so avoid recording. You can. Uh, Uh, write notes uh, of what you what they are ask, asking while you are answering. You can keep notes uh, for further analysis. The next one is what to do when we don't know answers. If if we don't know answer, uh, try to take a minute and uh, try to recall. If you are still uh, unable to recall, but you know that you know the answer. Uh, you are uh, not recalling at that time. Say, uh, try for one minute. If you can't recall, say to interviewer that uh, can I say it at the end of interview? Uh, he he will definitely say okay. But don't forget to uh, remind that question at the end of the interview. You should say like uh, at least the answer, or you should uh, say sorry sir, I did not remember. I did not recall. And if you don't know the answer, if you do not remember anything, tell sorry, sir, I don't know. I am unable to recall. This won't give the negative impression to the interviewer if you say I don't know. So, dare to say that instead of elaborating uh, the uh, answers which you don't know. The next one is do not rush to answer. Let the interviewer complete uh, complete his question. If you interrupt in the middle and uh, with your answer, uh, it will uh, mislead the question which he actually wanted to ask. So let him complete, then you give the answer, and the answer should be simple and clear. Don't use many technical terms which you do not know. He he further asked the questions on that technical terms, and answer should be uh, should focus on the main point. Don't elaborate much. And tell what what you know. Mm. These are the things I had done uh, with my experiences. Mm. Thanks for watching. Do share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.